Y'all see the title. Manga gets banned in USA schools. Assassination Classroom, which is actually a community series that we pulled in and we're reacting to. Now, obviously, you know, <clears throat> kids are, if you don't know about the show, you see a bunch of daggers, grenades, guns, right? The, the premise is that the kids are trying to assassinate this teacher because the teacher will blow up the world in like a couple months. It's, it's a bizarre, crazy concept of a show, but there's a very deep theme of teachers trying to really reach out to the kids who's been neglected with assassination being an accessory that really doesn't really need to be there, right? But it's a very um, obviously catchy concept. Let's see what Chibi has to say. The United States has banned a manga. Assassination Classroom is on the chopping block. I have been linked multiple times in the last 24 hours to a post like this and many similar posts, and even given a link to the actual article on Anime News Network on what happened. But to give a quick rundown, basically, in South Carolina, United States, Assassination Classroom was pulled from a school district, a high school of all things, not okay. a middle school, not an elementary school, a high school. Assassination Classroom was pulled from the school and no longer being able to be used or even be put on the shelves there. It is effectively banned. I wonder what other manga that exists on the shelves of that school. Because obviously, Assassination Classroom, right, it's literally in a school setting. When you have guns, you know, weapons in a school setting, Obviously, these Karens who have nothing better to do but blame, you know, anything but themselves and their lack of parenthood are going to come up and try to reach for different talking points of like, oh, this is why school shootings are happening. Not, you know, all the myriad of different problems that happens in America with, you know, gun violence, which is a separate topic in itself. But like, I wonder if other shows like, let's say, Demon Slayer, anything that involves violence, weapons, right? Anything that involves like gore stuff like that. I bet they don't give a fuck. They just saw the whole classroom aspect and they're like, yep, this is why kids are shooting up schools. And it's, um, I'm just gonna be honest, regardless of whoever is responsible getting down into the nitty gritty, I hate censorship. I don't mm -hmm. like it at all. And when I see stuff like this, it's basically, once again, the usage of video games causes violence, but now yep. it's like anime causes violence. And if only... These stupid adults who are so out of touch, they don't even know what the substance is. If only they knew the theme of the story. Because if teachers, adults, actually read Assassination Classroom or watched the show, you know what they would learn? They would learn the importance of how, you know, the teacher-student relationship is. They would learn that this kind of story, obviously with the violence, you know, there as an accessory, is simply a minor, minor, very minor point. And the greater theme is a teacher willing to go beyond the call of duty to make connections with these kids who've been outcasted, to make them feel good, for them to all thrive, right? And then you have the parallel. Well, in the other campus, you got the main school, right? You got the violent uh, principal who is ruling like a dictator who treats the kids like trash. But like these people, they're not here to actually understand the story of the themes. Right? They simply see the cover picture and they're like, yep, bad. This is why kids are shooting up school. It's crazy. Manga causes violence. You get the point I'm getting at. I just hate this. It's basically these individuals that really are mentally ill. They cannot separate fiction from reality. And that's basically what's on full display here. But before I get ahead of myself, let's talk about what happened, why this happened in the first place. And also, is this the first time it's actually happened? Well, Probably not. No. If you go back, if you do a brief Google search, you will find out that Assassination Classroom has faced censorship slash banning before in the United really? States. Almost two years ago, actually, at this point. Wow. Assassination Classroom was pulled from Florida and Wisconsin school libraries. I'm actually shocked that Florida would pull that. Because when I think Florida, it's mostly a red state, right? I don't want to go into politics and say, like, you know, this is the identity of all the people that live in the state, but... I thought they'd be pretty chill and it'd be more like blue states that'd be worried about shit like this. 
And so, you might have heard about this story in the past already, but yeah, this is basically a reenactment of that of what happened in 2023, and I think also happened in 2022, don't quote me on that one, but basically I know for certain, you know, I mean, you can even look at this article date in 2023-04, you know, when this actually was posted. The point is, is that Assassination Classroom has obviously been front and center for manga censorship in the United States for the past few years at this point. And you're probably wondering to yourself, why? Because <laughs> the kids are trying to kill their teacher. But the teacher is this alien octopus thing that moves at Mach 20. And also the weapons are just BB guns, by the way. The daggers are rubber. The weapons are like rubber pellets that only specifically can kill the teacher and no other human could possibly be injured from it. But like, these kind of details doesn't matter. It, it's, this is all just bullshit. Why is that the case? Now, regardless of how I'm going to explain this, once again, I want to make sure I state this. I don't think manga, anime, movies, video games, etc. cause violence. I don't nope. think so. I don't think they cause people to do anything crazy or anything like that. If someone's going to do something crazy, they were already capable and going to do something crazy. Absolutely agree. There's this underlying issue of mental health right? Lack of education, lack of parenthood, all of these things combined with the way that, you know, guns are handled in the States. I think it's just a perfect storm to be, you know, causing, you know, schools to be shot up. But like the anime, you, you think the anime is causing this? That's kind of crazy, right? You think this promotes that? No one's even seen the show that's talking about this because if they did, the only thing that's being promoted will be teachers wanting to reach out to the kids more. Games, manga, anime doesn't cause it. Just gonna say it. Anyways, with that being said, why? Well, if you look at the past case, and then you look at the recent case that came out, and let, let's just read this. This is after a mother complained that has handgun, rifles, knives. Okay, fair. And potions. <laughs> potions, guys. Oh, no. God forbid these kids from making potions. And it talks about killing in the pages, along with there are girls in lingerie hopping on top of men in the book. I mean, that's a bit sensei, right? I mean, hey, it is what it is. Description. Let, let's just get right into it. Assassination Classroom Manga has been banned in South Carolina School District, United States. This yeah. is after a mother complained it had handguns, rifles, knives, and potions... Potions, I think this is the episode where there was the glasses girl that Karma actually kind of likes, right? Because she's all about science, chemistry, want to, you know, create like a poisonous potion. And Koro Sensei was so kind enough to teach her how to do all these things. Because again, the act of assassination and killing the Sensei is simply the vessel, the, the bus. It, the bus, the vehicle of the, of the narration of the story. It doesn't have to be assassination, but it's obviously for the shock appeal. And the whole episode is Koro Sensei going beyond the Call of Duty to help this girl make this potion the best it could. And then Koro Sensei drinks it, and she says, ah, wasn't good enough to kill me. Okay. okay. And it talks about killing in the pages, along with there are girls in lingerie True. hopping on top of men in the book. And now... This is not specific to Assassination Classroom. Fan service like this exists in many, many, many other series. And I'm going to be honest. I, yeah. I, I, I got to keep this about 50, okay? I can even... You know what she should have said? This is the way that I would have went with it if I was the mother. I would have focused, obviously, on the handguns, rifles, and knives, right? It's, it's a definitely um, touchy issue. But rather than laundry t hopping on top of men, I'd probably say it is disgusting that this teacher deep French kissed a child. That's right. French kissed a middle school boy at school. That's the angle that I would have gone into, right? Now that suddenly isn't really talking more about the fan service, the lingerie, but more of inappropriate relations between teacher and student. And that, that's what I would have went in with. The, the most like disingenuous, obviously, or coming in just doing mental gymnastics to kind of rage bait right now give leeway to the potion comment but i don't legitimately remember like hopping on men like this sensei like, you know 
maybe I'm misremembering because it, it it's been a long time since yep. I have read I remember. Assassination Classroom. I like I, I was remember reading the series weekly. I've reviewed it weekly for a while when it was coming out in Weekly Shonen Jump. I don't remember it. I know there's fan service. I know there's fan service in Assassination Classroom. I don't deny that. I just don't think it's as excessive as the way this mother is explaining it. Which gets into the main point. Basically, what we have going on here is a Karen slash a a mother that, uh, it, it, it's kind of like 20 years ago where mothers and parents and stuff used to say video games cause violence. Yep. That's what's happening here. You have a mother coming in saying, this manga, this anime is causing violence. You need to remove this and all that. This is crazy. And, like, they're coming in with good intention, right? It's a mother that's worried about the kids being exposed to different things that could contribute to, you know, shitty behavior. I understand that. But they're also so stupid. Because, like, if you actually taught this kid properly, they it's kind of like insulting the intelligence of your kids, right? If you've taught these kids properly, they can distinguish what is real and what is not. A, a, a normal child is not going to read this and be like, yep, I want to shoot up a school. No, that's fucking crazy. What an insane conclusion to come to. But you can come at it, you know, with this shitty talking point and try to twist the narrative to censor. Why? Maybe she gets a power trip off of it. Maybe she is just a shitty parent that wants to blame anything else but herself of why her kid turned out like that corrupting the children's minds that that's that's kind of what this looks like and i'm just like this is literally that same exact argument with just a new flavor i'm just like dude this is this kind of wild but um anyways this isn't like necessarily a politician this isn't let's say the government or anything necessarily doing anything this is more or less complaints from a mother and then removing it from a single high school once again i don't think this is okay i don't think this should have happened it's just silly but also very stupid but once again, I do want to point that out that this was just complaints from an actual parent that got this to happen. And the same thing basically happened in the past as well in Florida and Wisconsin. Now, one thing I do want to also talk about is the imagery, or at the very least, what Assassination Classroom is about, and why this mother might get the big idea that it shouldn't be in schools. Yeah, and again, like, if you've actually read the story, for sure, it is bizarre that the concept of this show is a bunch of kids trying to assassinate their teacher because the teacher is going to just destroy the world. Already, you can kind of imagine this is a work of fiction. What an insane thing. Look at the teacher. It's a fucking yellow ball. He's a, he's a, he's, he's a tentacle monster. He's a fucking octopus. But that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is for the teachers to give these kids a goal to unite on. And assassination happens to be that goal. And for them to work hard at a goal and for the teacher to give just so much effort into teaching and reaching out to these kids to develop these relationships that's so important in childhood as you grow up. For them to thrive in society. That is the theme of Assassination Classroom. For me, that's reacting and watching this right now. And it's insane that like you could come to this stupid conclusion after just looking at the cover page. So I don't want to get down the very messy political type stuff. How the fuck? Are you going to be coming into my chat while I'm reacting to a different video recording and start begging for something else? Have some fucking manners. Have some respect for the stream. You should get banned for a week for doing that. Holy shit, bro. Like, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Stuff going on, but obviously guns, schools, you know, yeah. It, it, yeah, so basically, Assassination Classroom, the, the premise is the main class, the kids within the school, basically getting rid of their teacher, assassinating their teacher. And it, literally, the first chapter starts off where the kids pull off all sorts of different weaponry to be able to get rid of Koro Sensei. Now, obviously, the story and the themes, there's so much more to it than that. It's not surface level. There's so much to learn and take away from Assassination Classroom. Yes, and learning how to kill is like one of the most least important things about this show. The theme of teachers reaching out to kids and making them seem seen, them to be recognized that you are not useless, that you are not an outcast, that you can thrive. That is the point of the fucking show. But obviously, if you look at it surface level, obviously people will be like, this seems very too sensitive in terms of like content that happens in real life. Yeah. So I think that's what led the mother to come to this statement. Once again, I'm not agreeing with the mother. I'm not saying this should be banned or anything, but that's most likely the case because Assassination Classroom is very popular. It's won multiple awards in Japan. And 
I don't know if this is exactly what I'm about to say, but I believe that a lot of manga that's put on shelves in the library in schools is usually because they earn a lot of awards, like in Japan or different countries. Mm. And when they were like earn a lot of awards, they're put on the shelves in schools. That I, I believe that's how they handle it. Maybe they've changed it or whatever, but I believe that's how they handle it. So if that's indeed the case, obviously it makes sense why Assassination Classroom would be on the shelves because it's an award-winning manga. It's well-received. It's won multiple awards. It's very popular at that. Very good messages and life themes and all that. But yeah, I, I think that's what it necessarily comes down to. So the uh, moral of the story is there really isn't a moral. It's more or less people just not knowing how to separate fiction from reality, not being them not even understanding the show, right? Again, if you really wanted to take the show seriously, like, like you really want to go in with this, okay, you didn't even know that these are fucking rubber pellets and rubber knives, right? None of these weapons are even lethal to a human. We're assassinating a fucking alien, bro. And not only that, again, if you actually gave some attention to the show, you would realize from the first episode that the moral of the story is not to just violence. And, you know, doing shitty stuff at school. No, it's about reaching out to these kids. Such a disingenuous, twisted narrative. This Karen, you know, complains because she got nothing better to do. Her husband probably neglects her. Her kid probably hates her. She probably done nothing to raise the kid right. Now she's trying to fucking find excuses and blame about her lack of parenthood and why her kid turned out like this. And you're going to blame fucking assassination classroom? The stupidity of these middle-aged women. Ugh. It's, 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 ugh being able to raise their kids properly, mentally ill people, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I would just say that overall, this is probably not going to be the last time we're going to see something like this, because like I said, there's been a somewhat crusade against anime and manga as of late. I mean, I've talked about this a lot recently. I mean, like, let's think about the, fan the service. translation issues where, you know, you have people agenda pushing and changing literal Woke localizers. translations in English or English jobs, or let's talk about the full-blown censorship of just fan service in general, or let's not even get into the card companies that are trying to block sites in Japan from even being able to make money absolutely messed up stuff so i mean there's definitely been a crusade actively for the last few years against anime and manga this isn't the first time this has happened and i do hope that things do change relatively i hope there's laws or something put in place where stuff like this can't happen because it's just like look man man in books isn't the way i'm just gonna be honest with you it just agreed it's not the way i'll leave it at that though thank you so much for watching me all again if you really wanted to go in right wanted to damage the reputation of Assassination Classroom, you would go in saying, bitch sensei, just French kissed Nagisa at a school, right in front of all the different kids, multiple times. This kind of teacher-student relationship is not allowed. And this would give these kids a different type of fantasy that would lead to inappropriate behavior at school. If you really wanted to fucking grift and, you know, come in with an angle that may make sense, I'd go with that. But like, <laughs> potions, <laughs> hand grenades, all this different shit. Just a bunch of stupid parents that have nothing better to do but complain everyone but themselves. Please go give a like on Chibi's video. Here's a link. And I will see you guys next time.